three, two, one. We can sometimes call this the seesaw for kind of obvious reason. I see a lot of students doing this exercise, which is great, but more often than not, they're using the wrong muscle groups, rendering it kind of useless. We don't wanna waste time. So let's spot some of these common misconceptions. The first one of these components that we don't always think about is that when we're at the frog, it's actually the tip that must initiate the first motion. It's kind of like walking. When you walk, the first step is not actually that you stick your foot out. Surprisingly, the very first motion is that you thrust your weight forward and then your feet come out from under you to catch you. And that's a little bit like what must happen in the boat. The tip falls and then the hand catches it. And when you first feel that sensation in the hand, it's a little bit scary because it feels like you're gonna drop the bow. And that's a great sign. That means you're doing this exercise correctly. Instead, if you feel like you have a complete handle on the bow and that you can turn it at your whim and that that bow is just glued to your hand and will never fall out, it's not gonna be scary, but it's not gonna be correct either. So let's get to the nitty gritty of this exercise. 